Sheila exists from 5780 to 936. Uh, during that time, it was from the Bronze Era to the Middle, uh, middle Ages. The, their main culture is stone items, stone cultures. I mean, most artistic things were made in stone, especially granite, stone monuments, or stone houses, whatever. <laughs> This bell was made for the wish making for the king's Hangda also. And once the, the original location of this bell was not here, it was hang up the temple of the Pengnusa. Temple was gone by Mongolians, and the bell was fell down and after they were moved here. the best place, so especially the kings of Shilla kingdom, they buried in certain limited area. This is one of them. You may think this is like a king's valley of Egypt too. So most kings were buried here. And from 1968, we excavated some of them. Today, only 18 pieces are excavated, but we assume in this area we have more of them. Once in 19, uh, from 1926, we start to open the tombs by Japanese or so. Hesitatedly, they opened the one, and then the, the items were touched by air. Only solid gold, or the, some gilt bronze, stone items survived. The others became the ashes. And we got a lot of trials like that one. And from 1978, we stopped the excavation, or we stopped opening the graveyard anymore. Did they, we just make a little hole, and through them we put the micros, uh, microscope and watch. If there is something different, we decide to open. If something similar, we just cover it. Oh, <laughs> 